everybody so it is friday and i just finished up work and i am heading over to aiden's unfortunately as you could probably tell by aiden on facetime he is unwell he's a little bit sick at the moment i think i might make him a soup of some sort it is like really crappy weather outside when there's bad weather there's just really bad traffic especially going downtown it's also for some reason pitch black outside it feels and looks like it's midnight at the moment we're not going to really do a whole lot tonight as you saw i also packed my laptop because aiden's probably going to be sleeping so i thought i would just bring my laptop and get some work done since i do have some stuff to do edit the rest of my video for next week and then i also do have to like plan out Christmas presents. Christmas presents have been stressing me out quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I am still waiting for Aiden's gift. Also, I got my eyes tested and my vision has gotten so bad. Like, I'm terrified. I also have dry eye disease. Well, not the disease, but I definitely do have dry eyes and I need to like blink more. When I'm editing and watching videos back of myself, I'm like, I blink so much. Like, I do blink. She did recommend that I do hot eye compresses to help like with the glands and unclog the glands. The thing that sucks is like, there's no way to actually like, improve your eyesight. Like it's just gonna continually get worse. That's the plan for now. I am going to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys as soon as I get there. I will see you guys in a little bit. I made it to Aiden. It took me like two hours. I called my friend halfway through. First I called Efaz, but Efaz had something to do so he couldn't talk to me for that long. And then I called my friend from Banff. It was nice talking to her because she's still in school. I had to ask her how old she is because I feel like in Banff no one knows how, how old anyone is. She was like, I'm 22. And I was like, oh. Okay. She was talking about how she's going through an existential crisis right now because she's graduating school soon and she's in psychology and she doesn't know what she can do with her degree so she started googling and then that just led her to spiral and then she goes maybe I should go into marketing and I was like <laughs> don't do it. Nothing's wrong with marketing but I just said like if you work at an agency like just be prepared to actually do like work because there's so many jobs that you can go into without a proper degree that don't require you to do as much work like day-to-day -day work but I work in an agency and although it is very busy sometimes I'm like functioning in it so it's not that big of a problem. She was like happy that I called and was giving her some insight and so that she didn't feel as alone because I know I feel like that's a very common thing you don't know what to do after you graduate and that was me 100% because I came from a science background and I am in influencer marketing. As you can tell I am at Aiden's and he's done the lights and everything like that he's sick Orders. Yeah. Why is there a red mark here? I also need to pee really bad. My shoulder hurts. I always forget that people in like the prairies call dinner supper. I feel like your mom said supper. Yeah, growing up, grandpa's from the prairies. Oh, that would make sense why your mom said supper then. She was born in Manitoba. I was trying to convince him to watch Wednesday with me, like Wednesday Adams on Netflix because I know it's really popular right now. All the episodes in one day because that's just what I do and I have no self-control. And that is why I don't watch any Netflix series. Also, I did a leg workout. Glute, Glute focused, focused obviously, obviously killing me. The past two nights I've been waking up. When I roll around in my bed, it hurts my glutes so bad that I wake up. But my bed at home is like literally rock hard. It feels like I'm laying on the floor. Yummy. This looks so raw, but it, it's just literally been put in. Yum. everybody i've been awake for a little while i couldn't go back to sleep i've just been editing i showered also aiden had fever last night i'm pretty sure and like i woke up in the middle of the night and my arm was like soaking wet but it's okay he's a sick boy made a to-do list while i was sitting on the toilet because i was like you know what i should be productive every single time i sit on this chair i realize how much i hate it we literally didn't get up to anything yesterday watch the entire wednesday adams netflix originals which is kind of concerning because it's eight episodes and each episode is an hour so i just like laid here for eight hours aiden was like in and out of sleep but he was watching like i was saying this is exactly what i knew was gonna happen so i was mentally prepared to do it i'm also not wearing pants right now my jeans are there i took them off because i feel like everyone has jeans where they like how they fit when they're standing but when you have to sit in them it's like the most unbearable pain and discomfort possible like literally wedges up my ass cheeks i'm taking these off 
But like if you work in jeans anyways, like that's, that's fucking weird. weird. Especially if you work from the comfort of your home. We're gonna get coffee. The weather is kind of disgusting outside. We probably won't be outside for very long. Once I live downtown though, I'm convinced that I will buy an espresso machine and I'm gonna start doing latte art. That's gonna be my new hobby, latte art. Even though Aiden doesn't even like it, he likes drip coffee. It's 12 o'clock now. I feel like I've been pretty productive though. Usually I don't bring my laptop and I would just lay in bed and watch TikTok for like three hours. You look better. I feel better. I feel like different though, you know? Why am I doing this? I also have like a work Christmas thing next week on Thursday. Hopefully I don't get sick from Aiden. I finally finished cooking, but I did not record a whole lot because I literally made the same thing, but just with orzo instead of the little star pastas. Didn't really feel like filming when there's other people downstairs. I did pick my face a little bit. Aiden's still a sick little bean. And I'm not gonna lie, I have been getting like quite sniffly, but I don't get like sick to the level that Aiden gets sick. I'm still high functioning when I am sick since we have no other plans tonight and it's not like we're gonna go out and do anything because we're both feeling a little under the weather. Quickly run and do some errands. We're thinking of driving somewhere because it is so windy. To the point, like Aiden could not stop walking. He was flying. <laughs> Brace myself for every step because my legs kept like moving as soon as I lifted them. Aiden is gonna be a trooper and we're gonna go do some errands. He wants to pick up some Christmas lights. Oh, I did get Lauren. Oh, maybe I shouldn't tell her. I don't think she watches these though. Well, this isn't gonna go live until the next Friday because yeah. I already have a video lined up. The perk of filming ahead of time. And so I guess I can talk about this because she'll have it by the time that this video is live. I did get her a hemp lotion. I did finally find one that I liked enough to give her. I did also decide to get her this mug and maybe pick up some candies as well. You know, I just love doing the most. I feel like for me, I personally am either like zero effort or like 150% effort. I need to shave my armpits. <clears throat> I just sniffed my armpit. <laughs> what do you mean? You never sniff your armpit? I just forgot that they were there. <laughs> Anne literally just gasped in the elevator. It's not like a rotten eggs. And a dude came in the elevator. <laughs> I thought we were at our <coughs> level. Deal. Okay, we, I'll be right back. This is what Aiden and I just put in here. It's a Christmas present for Scott. Hopefully Scott's not watching. <laughs> Definitely not watching. And the only thing I got from the mall was from Sephora. They had a deal, so I just picked up a few things. I decided to get deodorant, so I got this Sephora coconut deodorant. I love the smell of coconuts. They used to sell a like, Kopari deodorant, and I decided to get Efaz something. So I'm not gonna show you guys just in case I haven't given it to him yet. And I decided to pick up a retinol for myself because I'm running out and I've had the same retinol for the past year. And then we decided to pick up a few things for Aiden's sister, a Laneige lip sleeping mask because you cannot go wrong with these. And then we decided to pick up a couple face masks for her. But that was it, that was our trip. Aiden got a couple more things than I did. Thought it'd be time to pick up a new deodorant. The last deodorant I have is like literally two years old because that's how little deodorant I use. Creatine makes you stink. This is what it looks like. It's literally like coconut oil. I know Aiden uses like an antiperspirant because like, like nothing, nothing can, can save those, those pits some days. days. I have other deodorants, but I find that the ones with like the clear are way better because the ones that are like a white stick end up like clumping up in my armpit. We're fixing this tree because this is not what we want here. <laughs> My armpit smells so good from the yard, guys. Mm. How about I put the wreath on the door? I'm gonna move you guys up so you guys can see. This is probably the most crooked thing possible. That's not bad. Let's turn her on. There you go. 
go. Cute, everybody, look what I did. It's really not even in the center. No, that's actually pretty good. Proud of myself. <laughs> Why is this chair my toe? Oh, I can't believe I just let this chair exist still. Take control. This is as good as we're getting here. It's not even on the back. I figure out what I did last year on this. Hey. Okay. Ow! What is happening? Look how crooked the table is from me running into it. I know, so stop. <laughs> On me. Good morning, everybody. I bet this is the first time you've ever seen me wear a hat because I hate hats, but my hair is really greasy and it kind of goes with the fit, so I had to do it. So here's the fit. We're going for a full neutral moment. I'm pretty sure this hat's really old, but it's from Uniqlo. My brother got it for me because he said I look like an egg in it and he thought it was funny. That was my Christmas present one year. And then I have this sweater, lounging pants. They're very cute and very comfortable, but they're in a beigey color, but so comfortable. They're from Addictive. And then I also brought my super puff, which is pink. A full beigey pink moment. Pink is my favorite color. I'm also thinking of dyeing my hair back to its natural color. I can just dye it back myself at home because I've done that a million times now. I also really want a Dyson So that's kind of why I want to dye my hair back because if I dye it back then I won't spend money I don't do my hair very often, but I feel like if I bought the Dyson I would I really want a bagel I haven't ate a bagel in a really long time And if you guys watched my vlogs for a while in the summer, I was like obsessed with Kettleman's but Aiden actually hates Kettleman's right Aiden? Yeah, fuck that, please. I was thinking maybe we can go to Whatabagel because we haven't gone to Whatabagel in a while My go-to is just like a classic like jalapeno cheddar bagel herb and garlic cream cheese with cucumber slices it's so refreshing and just like tasty and then obviously we're gonna get a coffee it looks sunny outside let's get rolling This is crooked. We are back home now. I had a beautiful, beautiful, delicious bagel, and we went to What a Bagel. They have so much variety in terms of bagels and cream cheese and toppings and whatnot. And then we went in a couple shops just to look around, and we walked past a little market. I haven't gotten my sister anything, but like my family in particular doesn't really do gifts. It's kind of nice buying just like smaller gifts and surprising them with those things. We pick up this candle because it was Asian-owned business, and they're featured in. BuzzFeed. Ramoon Soda Soy Wax Candle. It burns for 40 hours and it smells exactly like the soda. If you've ever had the soda, from my understanding, what I remember is these sodas are the ones with like the little marble that you push in, but this is the Ramoon Soda. Aiden is actually going to go to hockey, but he's feeling better, so he's going to go. We came across a bunch of like little stores at that market. You can always find something good there and everything's like pretty reasonably priced for small businesses, I would say. I'm going to lay down, probably eat some Doritos. I made this one. This is probably like older than half the people watching. 